Hi, so I have a bunch of just goodies here and I wanted to share with you guys because this is just some of the things that I have gathered along the way of my little um, trip getaway and the little Maumee stationery store and so on. So in the background I have, it's called the Best of Disney Piano Instrumental. So let's enjoy and then I'll also I guess show a little look in my planner and a few little things going on. <clears throat> okay, let's get started on all this little mess of goodies. So this is so cute. So I bought an extra one. It's a little kitty, but this is really cute so that it's for your like phone or glasses or iPad just to like wipe that. And then you just take it and then it just tucks. Whoops, that wasn't in there. It just tucks right back in. So then you have like a little wipe with you. Okay. I don't know if that's too loud. We'll see. So that is what this little cutie is. And then at the Meow Me bookstore here in Georgia, I'm gonna maybe turn that a pinch. Okay, I got these little cutie pies. It's a little, um, like a little post-it-y tablet. I trimmed the little top off. And these cute little travel stickers. And let's see here this little cute booklet of like post-it type um, little papers to write little notes and add to your little art journals and so on. Okay, put that here. Hi, Mousy. Mousy and Thomas are here, but they're at a camera right now. And then I also got this one. It's very cute. Take those out. All right. Hi, Mouse. Mouse is trying to cut through back there. All right. And then I'm going to move some of these little guys so I can see what I've done. This is from a little bookstore um, in when I went to, why can't I think of it all of a sudden? The little beach. Ferdinand. Fernandina Beach in, um, well, let me peek. It's so funny that I'm already forgetting the name of it. Okay. Amelia Island. <laughs> okay, so this is my little travel journal. I like to put postcards and things in here. And then here I still have a little journaling to add and then I'll add some pictures from my little sprocket and so on. Um, but you can see they have like really cute little shops and stuff. So one of the bookstores um, I got that from and I also got this and a couple new books, but this was so cute. I thought and look, it even comes with a cute envelope. I thought I would put this, it would just be cute to tuck in one of my little planner pockets. It's so adorable. It's like Beauty and the Beast. Okay, so that's was just too cute to pass up. And then, um, back to Meow Me Bookstore. I got this cute little eraser and then you twist and it has more and they have little refills and stuff for it and I got some Midori pencils and I don't know what brand this pencil case is but I got some like official Midori pencils and a little ruler what it says there 
mm -hmm. empty paper products from Midori and they write like super lovely and I sharpened all of them to be ready to have some fun with them. Okay, so I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but these were from Meow Me, and so is the case. And then I got some of these cute envelopes from Meow Me. They just have like a little vintagey feel to them. So those are super cute. Hi, Mouse, you're really cutting through. All right, and then um, I got a couple of, like Midori uh, notebook inserts, um, B6 Slim and some A6 ones, and then I got that Slim Midori case. I had shared a picture on um, in the Peach Life group, my Peach Life group on Facebook, I shared. So if you guys saw that there, this is a little look at it. It's got like a little pocket and another little pocket here. And I keep um, a little fountain pen, scissors and a click clickable, clickable pencil. And then this is just another little postcard. I had taken some of my stuff out that was in here that I traveled with. So this is just really cute. It's Midori. I like that it's thin, so you can slip it into all your different little stuff. I had slid it into my small uh, Delphonics carrying tote. There we go. I like how cute it fits in there. Okay. Let's keep going through this. So I got this little... Um, another one of those little clear pockets. And I thought it'd be cute for like a bazillion different little things. I got these little washi rolls. I have two. I think the cats took off with one um, from Jet Pins. They're really cute. I like that they're just on this little thing to travel with. I'll show you a little look at that. So they have little spots where you can write in things and it's um, pin friendly. Okay, sort of. So I like that you can put that in there. It also holds um, my Beko fountain pins, stickers, these are from Starbucks. The little Starbucks we are at on um, Amelia Island had some little stickers so of course I asked if I may have like a few little stickers so for my notebook and then this is a cute little eraser I got from Galen Leather fits in there I just like that it holds all sorts of little whatever you want to throw in there okay so there's that um meow me I got this from Meow Me um, Bookstore. It is uh, washi tape with little kitty cats. I'll give you a little look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I think I'm gonna put this in my new um, washi tape holder. Okay, and then I also got this little stamp. It's by Midori. And I got this from the Meow Me Bookstore. Uh, Jet Pins also carries them. This was the only one left that Meow Me Bookstore happened to have. So I ordered some more on Jet Pins. They're really cute. And um, I'll show you some of the ideas that Midori shared that you can use this. Um, this is like a little tracker. Let me show you. I'm gonna toss those, let's see. So, um, on the little book one, if you can see there, it's really cute how they colored them in and wrote on the spine and on the front. And they're paintable stamps. They're self-inking. And they leave such, like, a great impression. This one I did, I'll show you. I used that one in my gratitude journal. So 
so you can see I stamped it here, the time and the date. Um, you can use it for anything for your habit tracking. This um, B6 Slim Midori notebook I got at Maomi also. And this was a card that they had that I cut and used it for um, my cover. These are some stickers, little cat stickers I got at Maomi also. And um, this was like, I think on the packaging of my card label. Okay, so this was my new gratitude journal. So you can see it's blank. My last one is already nice and full. One of my favorites I shared about in um, the group uh, about how a gratitude journal has been one of my favorites. Let's see, and how important it is to give gratitude things. And I feel like just the more we're thankful and share that and the power of writing things down, the more I feel like it even comes back in so many more ways than it already has. Okay. So there's that I'll show you and that goes with everything like writing it down even writing down the monotony of my to-do list I find that I actually get it done this is my little back cover this was a sticker and this was part of it and I just sort of cut that up and these are those little post-its I had shared okay all right and then this is a little postcard that came in my Galen order. I like the little fishies and the little shark guy there with the little ink bottle. It's really cute. So I tuck him in there. This is, so I thought this was supposed to be B6 Slim, but it was a Slim B6 notebook. <laughs> so, and I don't really have anything B6. So I decided to use it because I like the leather and everything. Um, and I have these cute notebooks that I pick up. Um, and the little companies like Spartina 449 or something like that. Spartina, yes. 449. It's a little shop with clothing and tote bags and everything like that. And I, I try to get one of the little notebooks from different places that I go. So I have... This one, uh, Savannah, Georgia, and one in Florida, and a couple other little spots, and I like how cute that they um, put it to the little town. So I decided to add that in here, and then they have a cute little spot for your like either little um, Hobonichi or whatever um, rulers, and then a little spot back here. I just put my little peach life card. And then it did not come with this elastic, but I had the little tool to um, add a hole, so I did that. Um, I think if you had a larger notebook in here, the correct one, that it would form really well to this and fit nicely and your cover would stay pretty secure, but I felt like my cover was a little um, floppy because I didn't have the right size book in here. So I added that little elastic. Okay, let me show you some of the others. Um, the cat is really cute. So they just added, they colored him and then added in little notes and things. So they made him like a little spotted calico-y like guy. So you can do anything with that. And then um, this one here, they colored it in. And then they show like they wrote happy birthday. You can put like any little saying or sentiment. I thought these would be really cute to stamp um, in my journals to put like the name of the journal and the date or um, stuff like that. Okay. And then the little birdie one. Hoping that isn't too much glare for you guys. The little birdie one. The little birdies for note taking but these would be cute also stamped in the front of your journal 
or anywhere in your journal, but they stamp so good that even ink-friendly pages, it'll really show through. Okay, so there's the kitty. I feel like there's a few more. So those, um, so the little washi tape here that I had shared earlier, I got two. And literally, I don't know where the one I really wanted when I ordered was my very favorite has escaped. Probably the kitties. So this is this one. And it says writable with water ink pen. And that's the brand, that M-A-S-T-E, Masty Washi. This is also that. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then this was the other, and I liked how it had numbers and things. So I can use those for dated um, things in my journals. Hopefully that shows up. Usually things do. Okay, so there's that. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. I'm so glad I went through because I, I tossed in my little trash the packages, but I decided to pull them out to show you the examples. Look at what I just found. The washi tape that I thought would show up. And, and it did. I would not have looked to, to see that I had thrown it away. Okay, let's take a look. So that worked out wonderful. Okay, so let's take a little look at this. I love that it's just a little pretty flower. Looks like pansies and hydrangeas um, to add. And again, it's writable. And then these are the numbers. We'll get that started. Oh, look how cute. It's a little squirrel on the number one. Oh, and I like a little, is that a little hedgehog guy? Oh, this is cute. So you could just kind of pull them apart for the little numbers and dates and things. I just thought those would be really fun for my journal. I am going to put them both inside my little clear case right now. And then I'll show you what these Starbucks little stickers look like. The one's clear and then the other one is not. Okay. Put my other little eraser guy in there. Okay, so I just thought as I go through some of these things before I put it away that I would share with you guys. Um, there are probably some things I'm forgetting, but here it is. Okay, isn't that so cute? Okay, the little clear, let me show you. So when I started cleaning out my planners the other day and I had released some of my Foxy Fix ones because I just felt like I had an abundance, even though I still do. I needed to let go and let somebody else enjoy some of those when they weren't all fitting and when I had them just too many spots. And I really wanna keep the ones that I really use and really utilize and not just hoard ones because they're a, a favorite color um, or size. I'd rather just allow someone else to get some joy from them. Um, even though they are cute on my shelf, I do have plenty. And it actually, in the beginning, was a little nerve wracking to let go of some of them, but afterwards, it felt so great to um, release that. Okay, so this is the large Starbucks sticker. Let's see, where did I put it? Well, this is the large one. This was in my little order from Barbara in our Peach Life group. This is from Amelia Island, and this is a sticker from the Savannah Coffee Roasters that I just love. So a lot of coffee shops have stickers. Oh, and my point of telling you guys about the Foxy Fix and releasing some of those, um, my Hobonichi came back around, and Lo and behold, here I am saying, I don't use Hobonichi weeks at all anymore, blah, 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 but I'm back to using it. And I will tell you the thing, the thing that I do love about it and I go back to it, 
I feel like ultimately A6 is my very favorite of the Hobonichi sizes and I use the A6 and um, the A5 Cousin for um, memory keeping and art journaling and things like that. Um, but I wish the A6 had um, the month and the week in review, but it has the month and the dailies in review. So you can see um, I had started it at one point and then I sort of abandoned it for quite a long time. And then I picked it back up here in July and wrote some little goodness there. And then I'm starting here in August. So I'm back to giving this a go. I don't toss out my other ones. I keep them because I find myself drawn back to them. But ultimately for 2022, I do want to find one that I feel like I would love to use the whole year straight. So we'll see. We'll see if that happens and what that ends up being. And I'm sure some of you can relate. And I love that there's some girls in um, our Peach Life group that literally commit to one and it's done. And I love when we have our meetups and to flip through and just to sort of see all their little gorgeousness for the year. So there's just some little things here that I'm working on to kind of bring this little planner up to some stuff I love. Okay, but you can see all back here, nothing. So I started, is this where I started? Yeah, so I started. This is the little Starbucks sticker and it has the clear background. And then this week. So I like a week and a glance. I like to kind of see, cause I'm not a super organized person. And I like to be able to kind of see what's going on the whole week and write down things that don't necessarily have a certain date that they need to be done. Uh, they just need to be taken care of this week. Um, and then I can also, the few things that may not have gotten done, I can carry over to the following week. But when I have my daily, which is where? I don't know where. Um, my A6 is daily. This is not it. Let me grab it so I can show you guys. Okay, so my A6 daily, is that it here? Yes. I tried to turn the day free one into sort of like a week at a glance. And I did use it like that for some time. Um, since it was day free, there was no date, so I can kind of just make that two page spread, but it just sort of didn't work out as I had planned. And you can see I had pre even decorated some pages. I'll show you those. So I love my little pre decorated pages. I was trying to be extremely hopeful that um, I would continue forward with that. But but it's not all lost because I'm gonna turn this one into just one of my art journals with um, sort of memory keeping and like photos and poems and inspirational quotes and things like that. And it's day free. So it's really cute. So um, all is not lost. And if there's any page that I don't want this particular stuff, I'll either put a photo over it or paper over it, um, scrap of paper or something like that, and then decorate on top um, because I don't like to waste any of them. Okay, so the day free didn't also work out for me, even though I start with, oh, I just love it. Okay, so then I tried very, very recently the Midori Pocket. And there are so many things I do really love about it, but 
So it's a week and a glance, sort of like um, the Hobonichi Weeks, and it gives you a little side to write things. I will say I didn't give this one uh, very much time or opportunity to really work, and it's so cute. I decorated it so cute. I just love that. Um, I will tell you one of the reasons why. In the monthly part, this is the January, so it's not like January, the whole page. It's so small to really put anything of importance in. You'll see like I did here when I started it. Where is it? And you can really only put the exact appointment or date right there. And I would like to probably add a pinch more than that but I love how cute it's turned out. And I covered it, it was red. So I wouldn't say all is lost on this one. We will see because it is good for all next year as well. And I'll give you a little look. I had, um, I had high hopes for this. And you know, sort of, I will say, I will be like totally admitting here, but sometimes when you have too many options, it's hard to settle on, on a particular one when you have the ability to try this, enjoy that, do this and that. And so sometimes looking at all those things, you can wanna try different stuff. And sometimes having too many options may not be, um, a great thing but here's inside mine I gave it a go and I really did like it I enjoyed it um, but then that Hobonichi stuff Hobonichi week stumbled out and um, here I pre-decorated again too and was really hopeful for everything so I think what I'm gonna do is not pre-decorate my Hobonichi weeks and try to limit my decorating in that so that um, maybe I actually stick with it so here's just some little stuff and again this won't be wasted one, sometimes I will give it to someone if they need something or we're looking for something, or I will turn it into one of my um, art journals or travel books. Nothing definitely is wasted. Those are like the little um, stickers that come like in your order, the little thank you stickers. Okay. And yes, this is a sticker on my leather. And will it ruin my leather? It's possible. I don't plan on removing it, but I just try to have fun and enjoy um, what I have. So on this, something else, it was getting a little thick because I had an insert in here for um, habit tracking and an insert in here for um, like online orders and things like that. And it was just getting so bulky. It was getting so big. And the whole point was this is supposed to have been a little thin thing that I can just toss in my purse and it was turning. So imagine two more inserts in here. So it was getting quite large and defeating the point of just a little thin grab and go that can carry it all. Another thing that I love about the Hobonichi Weeks is, um, the extra pages in the back. So if the Midori A6 had these extra pages in the back uh, and, ha and had a week at a glance instead of a daily, or even both options because the A5 Cousin has both options. So sorry, I hope I'm not getting too confusing with that. Um, I love that it has these extra pages so I can have my purchase tracker I can add notes. Um, I can keep whatever I need through the year. And this is not the Mega, so the Mega comes with a lot of extra pages. 
So you can add so much to this one and then still keep it a nice little thin notebook. And that's, and like I said, this one still didn't have the other two inserts that I needed, so it was even thicker. Which is cute for, I feel like everything else, but as my grab and go, daily, random, brainstorming book planner. I like it um, thin. Okay, so all of that, this is my new transparent um, Quebeco Sport. I got it from a pen shop online called Vanessa like finesse 19 something or another. Let me see if I can find that for you guys. Well, it's V-A-N-N-E-S-S. -S. And on Instagram, it's just Vanessa. I will see if I can pull that up for you guys really quick. I will do that along the way here at some point. Okay. I will pull that up along the way at some point, but I got this one and um, they also sell the little empty containers of ink because I don't use where I fill it myself. I use the cartridges that you could just pop in. I find that much easier and I'm not like an avid journaler, so I don't pour through the ink, but I like that they sell the little jars and I thought that would be cute. Um, to put little paper clips and things in and display that on my desk. Okay. And then the um, pin clips are extra. They're actually not necessary or needed. It really holds nicely, usually in most pin loops. But on this one, I thought it looks a little cute to have that. Okay, I'm gonna have a little drink on my water. So this video is just like a little everything. I haven't done videos with you guys much and I just wanted to catch up and kind of share all the little goodness. Have you guys seen these at Starbucks? When you put water in all the little when you put cold water in, all the little colors come out and even the straw changes colors. I think it's their brand new, like little reusable cup. Okay, let's go on. I wasn't planning on diverting that much. So I got this. It's Midori also from Jet Pins. Of course, little kitties. Very cute. Usually when it comes to getting those on jet pins, I find um, the cat ones always sold out. Yeah. Hi, honey. Uh-oh. That, that will be fine. Josh, he just came home. No classic with oat milk. Yeah, they just didn't put very much oat milk in. It will be fine. Are you sure? I'm positive. And I have some cream? oat milk. There's no cream. Is it's, that what it is? It's oatmeal cream, but it's fine. Oh, okay. I love you. I have some here at home, so I can always add more. Okay, Joshy brought me. Joshy, my little, my son, my little birdie, just came home from work. He brought me a little iced coffee with oat milk. It's a little on the darker side than I usually drink it. It's a little light on the oat milk. Okay. Okay, so back to our little goodness. Um, I tagged this on my uh, Instagram. This is the Weco, uh 5.6, so it's a really large lead. It's clickable so it comes out. And then on the other end, this little part here, you could put the lead in and you turn it to sharpen it to, um, to keep a nice point. 
very clever. Uh, they also have these on jet pins. This was like a, an older version that the bookstore happened to have. So this one is not on jet pins, but you can get the 5.6 in very similar looking ones right now. And then also the lead to refill them. And you can get that lead in green, blue, and red as well as just regular. Okay. Then from the Galen leather, I got this cute little zip pouch and it's like a little bit of a deep plum like color and it holds the little tobacco sport pins. It shows two online when you buy it, but um, three fit just perfectly. And then this is also my new fountain pen from Vanessa online it's like a little a limited edition it's um like a little it says elite royalty crown color it's like periwinkle and then i got a new navy from jet pins and my little collection has grown these are some of my other little colors that i have and Macchiato is a newer of my fountain pen colors. These also come in their pens, which are super lovely. So if you're not into the fountain pens, I'm not like a super fountain pen person. I like those. They're just simple with a lot of goodness. Okay, so there's that. And this little guy is a little stamp. Here's the little brand. You can also find these on Etsy. I got this particular one at the Miami bookstore. It was the last one they had. And it's the little kitty cat. So of course that's just perfect. And then let's see, our little music stopped. Okay. Oh, this, oh my goodness, is so adorable. It's a little bird. It has like a little wobble so it stays up. It's by Midori. It's called Swingbird. And it is a little um, like white out roller tape. And you can, I don't know how it opens, but you, it pops open. I was gonna give it a try. You could see the hinge here and you can buy refills to pop back into it. And it comes in this yellow and a cute blue color. And that also was from Miami Bookstore. And I'm going to, I'm probably going to try and go there this week or next. So I might do a live in my Peach Life group. And if anybody would like, if they're on that live and would like some items, um, I may do like if you PayPal, I can just purchase yours right there, give you the price. You can PayPal me and I'll ship them out to you. Just in case you guys might want that little fun experience, they do have some like really specialty, nice uh, Japanese stationery. Okay, moving on. So these are Sarasa, which I love, 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 love for pens. And they are the vintage colors, which out of all of the Sarasa, the vintage colors are my favorite. And there's two different packs of vintage colors on jet pens. But they also had right now these um, little specialty ones. And these are a little kitty cat. And this one is like a little corgi, like a little Welch corgi dog. And brown. And this color, it's sort of like a caramel. It's so amazing. It would not seem like it, but it is one of my favorites. Oh, let me give you a little example real quick, too, of what those look like the brown mm. I haven't popped the tops of them yet so I'll use my ones that are open so these are really cute to throw like in my little travel bag because I, I don't really like taking my pins from my like little spinner over there so I will toss those in there and have those for on the go. Um, 
as little extras and I'll show you what those colors look like. The brown. Oh, it's so nice and warm. And this color, beautiful. I hope you guys can get the like warmth and loveliness of them. They're so good. Okay. Let's see, moving along. What else do I have here to show you guys? Oh, these. Um, I got this from Jet Pins. I'm not gonna pronounce it. It's K-I-T-T-A. Um, I feel like every time I feel like I get them right, somehow I'm getting them wrong. But they hold these little pocket, um, like little individual washies. And you can buy these. These are all separate from the little case. And these are really cute. Um, I got a couple, I got them on jet pins, but then I think I got one or two also at the Maumee bookstore. And these are little individual like washi tape pieces. You can see that there. Um, I'd like to carry this with my little travel journal. So when I'm on the go, I have little bits of washi. I don't use lots of washi in there. And I like my washi tape to kind of um, be something that can go with everything. So I'll give you a little look at that. This packet holds six, but there's one on Jet Pins also that's double wide, and so it holds 12. Um, this one here. It's so pretty, it's really like artsy, like paint looking. So some have thinner strips, some have larger strips in them. Then I have this one. Let's see, I didn't have that all the way in there. So you can see like a lot of these washi tapes are um, things that can really be used. They're real generalized. Perfect for my travel um, journal. Those are adorable. There's other ones as well. I don't have all of them. Aren't those so great? I like the little Asian flair and feel to those. There's a little spot in the back. Maybe that's for an extra one or a business card. I'm not sure. So. I usually carry this in my smaller Delphonics and I just put that inside. Well, I don't usually carry this. This is new, but I usually carry the individual ones and they just go in the pockets. My little printer. Um, I like that in this I can get my travel notebook, my printer, those washies, all of that. And this is the small one. I think there's like one that's even tinier that doesn't have the little side pin. Um, some little goodies in here. Nothing in this spot and in the back. I have lots of little um, ephemera and pages and stuff for my little travel notebook. So a lot of times I like to just take this with me and collect my little postcards and things like that. And then again, this goes in my small, I have that camera pretty close. This is the little small Delphonics tote. It's really for like a little individual project. When I travel, I take the little one a lot just to keep me from taking too much stuff at the end of the night in um, our hotel room, that's the Midori one. The end of the night in our hotel room, I love to kind of go through my postcards and stickers and things I've collected along the way that will go inside my um, travel journal. And then I have different inserts. So I have one for Florida, one for Georgia, um, I think it's South Carolina 
just the different locations so I can add notes in there or when people share places or places that I can share that I loved um, with people and also keeps a little account of my travels and little memories and notes. Okay, so we went over lots today. We are, oh, we're really into this time-wise. Um, and we've gone through all, oh, I got these. I'll show you this. I got these inserts from Jet Pins. They're pocket size. Uh, this paper is the Tomo River paper. It's really lovely. They also sell these in pocket and standard size. And I feel like they sell out pretty quick. They're not there all year. A lot of paper in them, they're lovely. And I like to add those to my travel journal. And they're really cute for like note taking and stuff. Okay, um, I do have some other cute field notes and moleskin, different color notebooks and things like that. I'll make those on another little video for you guys. Here's another little sticker I got from one of the bookstores. In a lot of bookstores, you can find the moleskin notebooks. That just holds some of my ink colors. Okay. So I do have some more inserts. So I'm gonna share those inserts in a upcoming video because I've needed to make a video. One of the girls in our group, Dory, had asked to do um, like a planner size video so she can kind of see like what pocket is, A6, B6, like a comparison sort of video. So I'm going to, I will share those inserts in that video. But I wanted to give you, almost forgot, a last little look at my um, Galen Leather little washi tape holder. You can put whatever one's on there. I think I'll be switching something out and putting my little kitties on there. And it comes in two different um, wood tones. And this one's walnut. And I thought the walnut would be really cute with, I'm gonna take my phone off this for a moment. And I thought sitting here at my desk, let's see, the walnut would sort of give some warmth. And I thought it would look real cute with like my Beauty and the Beast guys. And you can find other types of washi holders in a more like cutesy, color, tone, palette, and stuff like that if you're looking for it. But I was just trying to find a little way to sort of warm up my desk a bit. Okay, so there is some of my newer goodies. Some of the things are um, put away already, but that gives you guys a good little look at just little goodies that I pick up along the way or that I'm looking for. And um, let me know what you think about the video in your comments and like if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to sharing some more videos coming up. Thanks.